hello there, and welcome to Bare Bones Episode 2. Now, you may be wondering why we're indoors, as we are an outdoor style channel, but really, we're pressed for time, and we don't have any time for an intro. So, today's episode, we uh, boiled contaminated water in three different ways, um, so that you could drink it, and we hope you enjoy the video. Like and subscribe. Peace. So what we've done here is we've dug a hole and put a little campfire on the inside, and the hole is just to isolate the fire, so there is no way that it can spread outside of where we want it to. So once we've got the fire going and there's some coals down there, we put a little rock and we've set our can full of water on there and that'll heat the water until a boil and we'll leave it there for about 15 to 20 minutes to kill all pathogens and parasites in there and that'll make it safe to drink. So what we've done is we've stoked the fire closer to the can. That way it burns hotter near the can and it'll heat up the water a little bit faster that way. So we're just going to keep the fire stoked right there and let it boil that much for about the next uh, 20 minutes or so and then it should be ready to cool down. So the second method to boiling water for sanitation is with a plastic bottle just like this. You may need a second container to fill it up all the way. So we're just going to take this water bottle once it's full and we're going to put it on the fire. And you might think that the plastic would melt but the water's boiling point is higher than the plastic's melting point and the water will absorb all the heat before the plastic gets a chance to melt. So now we take our plastic bottle full of river water and we're going to place it right in the middle of the fire there, in the hot coals. And you do not want to put the cap on because the pressure will build up inside the bottle and it may explode. Now we're going to leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes while it's boiling and that will hopefully kill all, the, all of the pathogens. Our last method that we have for boiling water is using hot stones. So now you might not have a big enough fire just to, you know, do the water by itself. Stones, they conduct heat very well. They hold heat very well. So you take a stone, put it on our end. Now the stone will only heat it up for a certain amount of time, then it will get cold. You have to get the old stone out or just simply put a new one in. Um, you also have to be careful. You can't have stones that have been in the water, like the burk over there. Um, the water inside the rocks, put it in with heat, they'll explode. It's not good. So, after you're done boiling with this, drink up. Mm -hmm. 